Today I was going to show you guys how to install the third person view mod for V Rising. It's recommended to use the mod manager, but I'm going to be showing just the direct install with this since I don't really care to play this game normally and third person is the main way I want to play this. And of course I'll leave links in the description to everything you'll need. So the first thing you're going to need is this Bepin X pack. This is what's going to load up the mod. Then you will need the modern camera and this is what gives you the third person view. For the Bepin X, you're going to extract everything in that folder, the Steam, Steam Apps, Common, V Rising, and right in here, you're just going to drop it. For the modern camera, you're just going to be extracting two files out of this one. It's going to be the silkworm.dll and the modern camera.dll. And you'll be dropping it in the Bepin X folder under plugins. Then you just load up V Rising like normal, and it's going to show up like this DOS program loading up the mods. And that's it. It'll just start working. Of course, the only downside with this is that you can't join servers with this unless you make your own server, then maybe people can join you. But I haven't tested that yet, so I don't know for sure. But some key things to know is that you can do some modifications to the camera and all that stuff in the options. One of the first major things you should do is go to controls and then scroll all the way down to the bottom. You'll see the modern camera tab and you'll have this action mode. You want to bind this to some key. I bound mine to the, the side mouse button so that it locks the cursor so you could be able to like freely look around. Another thing you can do in the options is you can change some more parameters under general and you go down under modern camera and there's a few things you can do. You can enable and disable the modern camera, which is also a setting for that as a keybind. So if you want to shut it off or put it back on, you can easily do that. You could disable the first person view if you don't like that. You can offset the camera. You can change the zoom distance, which uh, my favorite right now is the, the max zoom at 3.9. Uh, this makes it so that the maximum zoom when you, you scroll wheel looks like this. And I, I like how close it is because it feels more authentic like a third person game would. And plus, it's going to be less of the camera clipping through the walls because if you get too close to a wall, the camera will go through it. And there's a lot of situations where you can't see like this, for example. So the closer the, the camera is to the character, the better. Because if it's too zoomed out, it can end up being a big problem. But that's pretty much it with the settings. I didn't do anything else to it. Uh, I was really happy with the way this is. Honestly, I wouldn't be playing this game right now if it wasn't for this third person mod. So thank you to the people that actually went through the effort to actually make this happen. Because this is awesome. And I really wish the game was like this by default. And I really wish that Diablo series would also implement something like this. Because imagine being able to not only spin your camera while it's looking in the top down view, but also be able to use third person view as an option. That would be beautiful in the Diablo game. But I don't think they're ever going to do that. So uh, I'll just settle for V Rising right now. But anyways, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.